I've been hearing this word, like the life, like the life, like the life. But what exactly is like the life? Like the life is a, a solidarity fund that was created in 2019 to support our community. And what do I mean by it was created in 2019 to support our community? We realized that um, in the United States, some of you guys have been here as long as I've been, almost 40 years. We realized that um, uh, taking away our, or repatriating our loved ones was becoming an issue in the community. And uh, under the leadership of Professor Gezem, Eugene Gezem, a CEO of Legda USA, Legda Life was born. Legda Life, till date, has approximately 3,000 members. And uh, how does the program work? You have to be a resident in the United States. I've had a lot of people calling, can we join like the life from Cameroon? No, you have to be a resident of the United States. Meaning that the like the life program is uh, supported by the laws in the United States. And of course, like the life is a subsidiary of like the USA under the uh, CEO of Pascal Etienne. So how does the program work? It's like a mini form of Njangi, that's how I call it. It's like Njangi. The 3,000 members, for example, if there's a death occurrence, that 3,000 members, the, the uh, proceeds will be distributed among them, or the collection will be distributed among these 3,000 members. And each member will be able to pay the per head is derived from this amount of money. So a lot of people want to know how do you become a member of Legda Life? We support community programs, individual, but small groups. Small groups in the sense that a family of four can put themselves together and become a member of Nectar Life. There's $32 that is required when you join the program. Age criteria. We don't need a uh, social security, we don't need a green card. However, in order to sustain this program, we require that members who are under 50 years, they have a wait period of three months before they become matriculated, meaning that they are fully entitled to benefits. Members who are 50 years plus one day, they have a waiting period of five months to become matriculated. And why do we have this, um, this in place? We have it in place in order to sustain the program. If you would look among our parents who come, who migrated here to help us with our children, sometimes we have comorbidities that are not being disclosed. So the five months and the three months is almost like a cushion for the program to be able to sustain itself. One of the things that Lender Life is asking from the BLM community is to make sure that every single fondom is part of this program. Again, it is open to everyone in the United States and the majority of people who belong to Legda Life actually are not the BLM people. So I'm going to go back to what the CEO of Echo here and some of the uh, uh, members of Echo here. Together, we can stay strong. But if we want to operate fondom by fondom, that strength might be compromised. So in terms of this association, Legda USA, Legda Life is what is sustaining Legda USA. And my plea here from the administrators is for us to work together to support Legda USA and support Legda Life. There are six administrators in Legda Life. I'm Dr. Pam Fonju, one of the administrators. Dr. Kembele is sitting there, he's another administrator from Boston. Professor Amin from Georgia is another administrator. The CEO of Legda USA is the overseer administrator. He makes sure that the program is run well. Today, we have three administrators missing. 
because they are engaged in another Libyan function out of the country. That's Chief Dr. Fomeche from Arizona, Mafa Kembin from Ohio, and also Barista Fondumele from Arizona. I'm going to pass the microphone to Professor Amin to give us a little bit of synopsis as far as the like, that life uh, balance sheet is concerned. But before I do that, I want to make sure that this community understands that Legal Life have given out close to one million American dollars since inception. <laughs> right now, we have three deaths, and one of them is Dama here in Maryland. And we have another death in Arizona, a Legal Life member. So the Gaza will be coughing $30,000 to these two, two deaths. Before the Gaza was created, we used to have fundraiser, go fund me, the, you know, car wash and all of that. We don't need to do that anymore. All we have to do is come together as this community and support this community. Ndama's body is going to be taken to Cameroon without any sweat from the Fulham family. Because again, Dama is a Legda Life member. Our sister that's in Arizona, also a sister of the CEO, was a member of Legda Life. Her body is going to be buried peacefully without any collection of car wash and all of this. That's the reason why this program was created. So I'm pleading to every fund of here, take it back to your community, let them understand that it's Legda Life. Let that life is here to sustain our community from enormous contribution when someone passes on. The proceed is $15,000. This assembly mandates that proceed to increase to $25,000. But let the life administrators, six administrators sat down, including the CEO, and look at the logistics and also how can we put up $25,000 if our membership is gone up to 5,000. So, under the leadership of the CEO, we said we're going to hold a little bit and wait until membership is at 25,000, uh, 5, then we can raise the proceeds to about 25,000. But this is what we did. The administrators decided that the debt benefits for those who were in Cameroon stood at 10,000. But there were ongoing community, um, um, I would say, a, a grievance that why is it that if I go to Cameroon and I die there, my death benefit is only um, 10,000. 10,000 is not able to cry die in Cameroon. So what the administrators did, we leverage like the life benefits to 15,000. So. You die here, 15,000. You die in Cameroon, 15,000. You die in London, and you want to go to Cameroon, 15,000. You die in, while you're on vacation in South America, you want to go to Cameroon, 15,000. So let the life have one flat, 15,000, no matter where you die, and no matter where you decide to be there. Thank you. Okay. Let me just continue from where she stopped. I just want to give briefly, uh, the account in our actually just said of it, but since the figures are, let me read them out. This is from account from uh, January, uh, June 1st, 2003 to May 31st, last uh, 2024. That's yesterday. The money that come in, the membership fee is has been uh, 54,265. That's made up just for the registration. There is uh, registration is about. Uh, what? 12, 20, 20, no, registration is $20, and the administrative fee is uh, 12 So administrative fee, everybody pays every year. That's $1, one dollar a month. Then benefit which has been contributed to all the members for this period is $166,191. Then the CEO gave a special when we made last time, she gave a hundred a thousand to help generate membership. Uh, reimbursement is the total amount for income coming is two hundred and twenty-one thousand and eight hundred and eight dollars. That is the total 
that's the total amount that has come in for this period. Then the contributions to uh, that contributed to Lega USA, that later life contributed to USA, fifteen thousand four hundred and thirty-five uh, dollars. Debt benefits for this period has been one hundred and forty thousand uh, dollars. The later life administrative expenses for all the expenses are then is just eighteen thousand eight hundred and twelve uh, seventeen dollars. Administrative assistance. In fact, all the people working in the legal life, their administrators and the coordinators, they are not being paid. They just want voluntary work. The only person that is being paid who have a part-time administrat uh, administrative assistant that it has, to, uh, the, the, for this period has been paid $2,390. Uh, the check, or, uh, check for, or, or, or in for um, checkbook and phone that will pay for the office six hundred and sixteen dollars so the total amount that we have spent so far is two thousand two hundred and seven thousand two hundred and sixty dollars so the net that remains is fourteen thousand five hundred and forty eight dollars so what do we do with the amount that we have as the membership fee which is thirty two dollars uh, for registration we have that we give to Lega USD 40%, Lega Life back 40%, and for general administration, 20%. So for today, we have the net amount that remain after the expenses from the income is $14,548. So we're giving 40% of that to Lega USD. Here's the check. We are really encouraging not only the fundums and the different associations, but all the members, because this, we are trying to make it to be based on family and groups, family and association. As we heard from Dr. Pam Lefonju, we talk about the, this amount of members should they want, it's just four. So if you have, if you are parents, you have your husband and wife, plus one or two or three children, you can register. So we really encourage people because it's doing a wonderful job for both the community and for Legda and back home. Because when we give this money to Legda, the 40% to the Legda USA, they carry on activities back home. Thank you.